Square Picasso um, paintings, you're going to cut yours out. You're going to choose one that you're going to glue things on. Only one. You glue things on one. We're going to glue, when you take glue and you glue things on, it's called a collage. And then we're going to make them stand up. So you can choose as a tray here. Now I have six classes that I have to use supplies for. So you can choose five feathers and pom-poms combined. It could be five feathers, it could be three pom-poms, it could be two feathers and three pom-poms, it could be three feathers and two pom-poms, so only five together, five. The rest of the things, you can use whatever you want. So you can decide what you want to glue on. So you're going to, let's say you want a feather, and you can also take markers and add more details if you want. Now we're making these look, they're looking kind of funny, but we're not going to like make them so crazy that you can't even tell what it is. We should still be able to tell it's a face. Now one thing you might want to do is you might want to make earrings. If you want to make earrings for your person, what you can do is take a paper clip, so I have it unbent, and you can pierce their ear, and there you have a dangly earring, and maybe you want to use one of your five things to make a pom-pom earring. You might not be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to stick the pom-pom, now be careful so you don't poke yourself. I'm going to try and stick that pom-pom onto there, or you might have better luck just gluing it. Now it has an earring. At the very end, when you're done, you're going to glue it on, or sorry, tape it. I'm going to bring around a piece of tape, and you're going to have one of these things with popsicle sticks. These are beans that are glued in here. Please don't pick at this. This is so, I, may, I glued it, so hopefully the beans won't fall out. There are a couple did. If you pick at it and make a big mess, that's not following procedures. You need to just leave it. If you want to, you can also cut construction paper and add details on there, too. If you want to cover up the beans, that is no problem. What you have to do is take a pencil and draw around. Leave a little bit more space because the cup is bigger at the top than it is at the bottom. Draw a circle. Now I'm going to cut out my circle. And the way you punch a hole in the middle of something, if you don't have a hole punch, which I'm not giving out hole punches right now, is you fold it in half and make a slit. You can also just, if you want to pierce ears that way, you could too. And then you just take it and slide it right on top. If you want to take a marker, you could color the cup. You can color this. And that's what I'll tell you to do if you say, I'm done, what do I do now? I'll say, add color to the cup, add color to the popsicle stick. I'm going to give you a piece of tape. I will bring that around and I'll put it on the end of the table. You're going to take your head, Decide where you want to position it. It needs to balance. So if you want it up high, that's fine. It needs to balance. Do you want your head straight? Or do you want it leaning, a little crooked? You know, these are kind of crazy faces. So it's okay if it wants to lean a little bit. 